Amen. Good evening. My name is Pastor Kelvin Masharia. Most of all, I'm born again. I love the Lord Jesus. And it has been a while, about three weeks now. Uh, we just took some time off to seek the Lord's face, even in this season. Allow me to share the Word of God with us this week and even in this time. We're going to do things a bit differently in terms of topicals. And I want to read from the book I'm studying, the book of Genesis, chapter 26, verse 12. Allow me to read. Then Isaac sowed in that land and reaped in the same year a hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. And verse 13, it says this, The man began to prosper and continued prospering until he became very prosperous. Allow me to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just want to bless you for your word. I just want to say thank you for the opportunity to share your word. I just want to say thank you that your word sets us free even when we are bound. Lord, your word is the very essence of why we are in this planet lord i just pray that god as you speak to us concerning the spoken word i pray that in jesus name you may give us revelation and understanding in jesus name we pray amen and amen in the book of genesis when i've been studying this book number one pastor george did a series called uh, an episode called the power of words and I would like to borrow a few pointers from there. My title to us this season is uh, The Spoken Word. You see, when God spoke, creation had no choice but to respond to the Word of God. In Isaiah, in Isaiah, Isaiah chapter, I believe Isaiah chapter 40, chapter 50, chapter 40, around there, the Bible says that the words that God speaks cannot come back to Him empty. I think it's Isaiah 55. However, God gave a promise to a man named Abraham and then this man the Bible says he believed and it, it was accounted to him for righteousness but then look at this in Genesis 12 the Bible says that and the Lord had told Abraham to get out from his father's house which means that the Lord had begun to speak to Abraham so he spoke to Abraham and gave him a promise and the promise was Isaac now guess what Isaac did not only prosper because he worked hard in Gera. No, Isaac prospered because of the spoken word that God had spoken to his father Abraham. Let me tell you, there are power. There's, there, there, there is power in words. Now, when you speak, in the book of Proverbs chapter 18, the Bible says, verse 21, it says that death and life lies in the power of the tongue. Now, you can actually speak life or you can actually speak death. Allow me to emphasize. When Isaac went into the land of Gera, he decided to say that Rebekah was his sister. Sounds very familiar. However, the scripture that we have read, it says, and the man began to prosper, continued to prosper until he became very prosperous. You see, exaltation and success do not come from the north or the south or from the west or from the east. They come from the Lord. Now, the spoken word, in the book of John chapter 6, verse 63, the Bible says, that the words that I have spoken to you, the words of Christ, when he says, the words that I have spoken to you, it is only the spirit that can quicken it. Am I speaking to somebody who needs to hear the word of God? Let me tell you, the scriptures, when you read the scriptures, it is the written word. But when you begin to understand the scriptures and begin to internalize the scripture in your mind, it becomes the word that can be utilized. Now, this is the word that I'm telling you right now. We may be in a dark place. We may be in a place whereby the numbers are rising. Isaiah 53, the Bible says, which report will you believe? I'm telling you, brethren, now is the time to believe the spoken word. Now is the time to believe the spoken word. What is the spoken word? God has said in Psalms 91 verse 16 that with long life I will satisfy. Oh my goodness, am I speaking to someone? With long life, I will satisfy you and show you my salvation. Let me tell you, brethren, right now it's not the time to be discouraged, but right now is the time to believe in the spoken word. We have the spoken word of God. We have the written word of God, which is the logos. And then we have the rema word of God, which is the spoken word. Now, allow me to tell you this as I conclude. The spoken word of God, when God speaks, there is no other alternative. But whatever he has spoken, 
will come back to him. So when God says, brethren, you shall prosper, you have to believe that it will prosper. Because when you believe, you will live. Amen. And this is now the part in short. Isaac prospered because there was a spoken word. Isaac blessed Jacob in deception, but it was not deception because Rebekah had the spoken word that the elder shall serve the younger. And so when Jacob went to the land of his uncle, he prospered not because of his word had hard work per se, but he prospered because of the spoken word. How I pray that we may be agents of change, that when we internalize the scriptures, we speak life in this realm and believe you me corona is not even a hindrance to what god is about so until next time my people remember the spoken word allow me to pray he that dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty and i will say of the lord that he is my refuge and my fortress my god in you will we put our trust Surely, God, you shall deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from perilous pestilence, O God. Father, I pray that you may deliver us from perilous pestilence. Anyone who is struggling right now, God, they need to hear the spoken word. And Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray that the spoken word that you have told us through the prophets, through the apostles, O God, through the scriptures. Father, I pray right now that we will take refuge under your wings because you have told us you shall come Cover us with your feathers and under your wings we will take refuge. Your truth shall be a shield and a buckler to us. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Shalom. Peace and life to you. Amen.